I wish I knew before I... I wish I knew much earlier on. I wish. I wish. If I had known. When I came into it, I was just like, yeah, we're going to change all this. We're going to stop offshore drilling. We're going to make sure that this environmental agency stops allowing chemical facilities to pollute in lower income black and Latino neighborhoods. And then realizing like, oh, people have been actually working on that for decades. <laughs> I'm just new to the game. I've been longing for seeing scientists get their hands dirty, get into the crooks of the matter, you know, get into the eye of the storm. We are not yet able as a scientific community to help grab our fellow earthlings by the scruff of the neck and say, come, we are heading into big changes. I wonder a lot about whether being a scientist is the best thing to do in the times of these urgent environmental crises. So it's only immediate, rapid and far-reaching action that's going to keep 1.5 degrees uh, within reach. For how much longer can you shout louder in more dramatic font? We need to rethink the fundamental assumptions of what we're doing. These times are going to call on us to be the best people that we can be. We have to translate our outrage, our fears, our anxieties, our grief about what's happening into action. I myself have realized how hard it is even for one person that gets into government and wants to pursue a transformative agenda to do so alone. It's really, really important, I think, that we support each other to take political action. If you want to take climate action, you can. You don't have to be perfect. The world isn't on my shoulders. It's not on your shoulders. It's all of us together. We understand enough. We understand plenty. All of our problems are fundamentally political. They're fundamentally about people, they're about our institutions, they're about our governance. It's time to stand together to face down corruption and vested interests. We need to let go of things we've gotten so accustomed to, so familiar, so dependent on for a long time, including not just habits and behaviors, but ways of thinking. Visionary leadership doesn't come out of the sky. It needs to be team play at its best. Changing the time horizons upon which we make decisions is really a big and important part of this. Yes, scientists are critical to this equation, but so is everybody else. It's like a two-way process. I have to listen to lots of people because there are lots of things I don't know. I used to think that things would just happen, maybe by magic, but you make the change happen by walking the talk. For many years, I felt that I was just saying, the world doesn't have to be this way, we can change it. Only in the last five years, I've felt that we can say, we are changing it. Together we can and must succeed in You are the people who will make the difference now. Be courageous. We want to do whatever we can. The choice is in our hands. 